my name is Crystal. I'm 30 years old. I am a prison wife. I'm new to being a prison wife. My husband is 40 years old. Um, we're going to call him real. Because that's my man name. I wanted to blog about this because I don't see many um, blogs on the internet of prison wife just some not many um somebody did my makeup and i haven't been able to wipe it all the way off but you can't see it on my finger so i don't know or did somebody arch me last day i don't know but i'm gonna get it fixed believe that make matter of fact i'm getting it fixed tomorrow but anyways um where was i at my husband is 40 years old he's an amazing man um he's shorter than me he's big it's my first time messing with a heavier size guy he's so tough on the outside but in the inside he just he just like the inside of a gummy bear with all the juice and stuff they, he, he's a great man. He is extremely smart. He's very family oriented. He is so concerned about my well being, my kids' well being, um, our needs. He's a great provider. He just, he's everything I ever wanted into a man. Um, we have been dating for a little over a year, and when he, he asked me to marry him on a visit, it was like a regular day, it was, he was like, um, they, um, what, what would make today special? I'm like, well, I, I don't know, it's one paying attention, we just having a regular visit. I'm like, I don't know, baby. What do you tell me? Then he was looking at the time. He was like, you sure you don't know what day would make it special? So, when we was leaving out, about to leave for our visit, he um, dropped down on one knee and he asked me to marry him. And I was so happy and surprised and shocked and it was just i was afraid my man was gonna go to the hole just by proposing to me he didn't have a ring at that time so when he finally did get some money to get a ring like he wanted to have a big fancy one which i really didn't care i just wanted i didn't care about no big fancy ring i knew that he was i was going to marry him though i knew that for sure but he on my birthday he got in contact with my best friend, and my best friend, he ended up giving, somehow giving her money or whatever to, um, to buy my ring, a rose, my favorite candy, Forever Roche, and Oasis, and I went out to eat. So, but he is just the romantic God, period. Like, first time I hurt myself and I sprained my ankle, he had some guy come over and bring me some, uh, some, uh, Epsom salt and alcohol and my favorite candy, Forever Roche, and some money. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that just killed my heart like oh my god why is he so sweet and it's just the sweetness just never stops and then it's just the letters and the sweet talk and reminds you this man has never raised his voice at me never called me out my name like he just is everything I ever wanted now one thing he does do that drives me nuts is my man is so detailed into things like you can be like babe i went to such and such and such and this guy was uh going driving crazy and he asked in the middle of you telling your story like 
well, what do you look like? Well, what car do you drive? Or what store was you at? Like, I remember, like, ask me all this weird. Let me get to my story. Like, ask me all these details. Like, he loves details and things. And it's it's kind of weird, but I know that that's how my man is. Like, I accept him for who he is. So, I just... It irritates me, but I sometimes I be like, "Who side, Crystal? Who side, Crystal?" You know, that's just how it's real. It's just calm down, don't get. That's what he tell me when I get upset or raise my voice. He's like, "Hold on, babe, don't get excited." I'll be like, and that used to be so cute. It used to, he like it used to work on you because I used to shut up instantly because it's so cute. Instead of saying, you know, shut the f up, or you know, how guys be sometimes with they mouth get. I'll raise your TV like, babe, calm down, don't don't get excited. I'll be like, okay, daddy. But I miss my man so much, y'all. Like, I hope he be able to see these videos later. Like, I look sad. I do. Everybody says that I have a glow since I've been with him. That I change as a woman. That he is the better in me, and he is like. He's just everything in one. He's a great provider, protector, problem solver, educator, husband, son. He's he's a great baby daddy too. Like he try to educate his baby moms too. Like right now, I have my stepdaughter. I have my stepdaughter. A lot, like my stepdaughter called me mommy. You gonna see it one day in her video. She was like, "Mom, mom," like that's my baby. Like I love this man. I'm so in love with him. But I do need advice on your man going to the hole. My man went to the hole for getting caught with the phone. Like I need some advice for these prison wives. Um, I want to talk about cases like. We, we're filing the appeal right now like what steps should I make to um to better my man case um he's in there for something he didn't do and regardless of the fact of I'm riding for mine um this whole time I've been with him I've been celibate I've been doing different things trying to spice up my relationship with my man like Send him pictures every holiday. I'm coming to see my man. Um, bank his account stayed on full after a while. He stopped asking me, you know, don't put in his account. He's been taking care of that, which is good. Haven't been really putting nothing on the phone like that, so that's good. Like, I have a, a dependent man, like, bills get paid um he helps out with my bills so anyone that says that i'm stupid or i should never done it i really don't want to hear that shit i love this man and he's a good man and he's a strong black man and yes i love my daddy bae can't nobody tell me nothing about my daddy bae but anyways hit me back up ladies i want to know your stories your histories i want to get in some type of support group of prison wives um i'm new to this help me out help a sister out um especially with this whole situation what should i do i need to talk to my man i cannot do this not another day all right bye ladies